Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain. Today I'm going to show you how to use Bridge and a application called Touch Copy 12 to get your music into your iTunes library. And this is music that you have actually downloaded free and haven't paid for through the iTunes store. So we're going to be using Bridge to get it into our uh, music on our device and then we're going to go from the iTunes on the device into the Mac something like that let me show you how it works anyway so we're going to first of all I have already gone ahead and downloaded a couple songs here we're going to use one called Breathe and Music Girl so the Breathe and Mississippi Girl by Faith Hill and I'm using those two because I haven't imported those into my device yet and you see here I've been messing around a little bit with it so let's go up here to where we can find well here's Mississippi girl right here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit import and it's finished important so it brought that one into my iTunes on my device but I still don't have it in my Mac and import here and I'll show you how you can do this. It's not very hard to do at all. But now, if all you're wanting to do is get the music into your iTunes account, I mean, not account, but music on your device, then you're finished. I mean, that's all you need to do with Bridge. But let's go to our music app here and open it up. And now, when we go in here, we should have Breathe. Hopefully they'll be in order. There it is. You see it doesn't have any album art, but we can add that. That's not hard to, to update at all. And the other one was called Mississippi Girl. And right here it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the computer and show you that those, are, those two songs are not in my iTunes account. All right, guys. Now let's go back here and let's open up Touch Copy 12. And it'll scan your device when you open up. And you'll see right here, Artist. You see Faith Hill listed there. All right, let's go ahead and select that. Fireflies. And you see there's Mississippi Girl. So that's one song that we know that we're looking for. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to simply hit Copy to iTunes. And it's going to immediately copy Mississippi Girl straight into your iTunes account. Now I'm going to go back out, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open up iTunes. And now we're going to have Mississippi Girl in our iTunes account. Right here you see Mississippi Girl, Faith Hill, right there it is. Now the other one we're looking for is called Breathe, so let's go ahead and see if we can find it. Now right here you see we have Faith Hill. We actually have two copies because I imported it twice. Um, so you can see I'm selected on items not copied and it's showing up. So now all we have to do is hit copy that to iTunes and it'll copy that directly into your iTunes account. It doesn't get any simpler than this, guys. I'm telling you, uh, some of you out there might be thinking this is too much to pay for that uh, software. Trust me, you will definitely enjoy it. And hopefully I can get you a little bit of a discount. I'm trying to do that. And if I get it, I'll have an annotation on the screen here somewhere. So if you don't see it, that means I wasn't able to get it. So now I'm going to go back to my iTunes account. And we should find Faith Hill and Breathe in there. Sometimes it's just easier to search up here at the top. Hit Breathe. And right there it is, guys. It's in there right here at the bottom so right here it is selected along with all of the other things you see there's breeds right here and you can see they put that's it guys they do play I mean there's no problems with them at all I can feel you I'm going to show you how to add artwork first thing you need to do is go back and open up bridge and we'll go out of cancel here and to find your song 
you probably need to write this down. You're going to go all the way back to the root here as far as you can go, and you're going to choose private, var, mobile, and then library, and then your song is going to be somewhere in here. We're looking for breathe. Now, when that pops up, you see there's no album artwork, so we're just going to select that, choose it from our camera roll. It's going to be that easy, guys. And now you see we have it, but don't forget to import it. If you don't import it, you're not going to have it. So now, when you go import that into your iTunes library, it'll be, it'll include that artwork. So if you want artwork, that's the way you need to do it before you import the songs. So keep that in mind. I should have showed you that first, but I sort of, sort of did it backwards. But anyway, I hope that don't make you confused. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it on Facebook and Twitter and help others find out how to do this. And keep coming back.